Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 146 of Less Platinum and 100% Neo. Alright, let me just check something. How many do I have? Alright, I am only missing one. Okay, I'm really hoping that that's... I think it's still ahead. I should have done that before instead of wasting all that time. Um, okay, let's go. So, let's just avoid these guys. Alright, beautiful. Alright, here we come to one of the first boss fights of this... Uh... Oh my god, it was right freaking there. Stupid Kadama sense. Alright, well, I guess we didn't miss one. I'm an idiot, sorry. Uh... Alright, let's, uh, yeah, let's get into this. This is awesome. I'm gonna use a sword for this, by the way. It's Toyotomi Hideyori. Alright, here we go. So what I like to do is I like to actually put these all on. Oh, no, actually that's not weakness. And then I like to try and get behind him. Actually, sorry, I like to try and counter him. I'm having a lot of trouble with that today. And then he switches to dual swords. One, two, three, four. Pretty good. Now he has like a bit of a an interesting um, phase thing. He has two phases. And if you knock him into the second phase, which is about half his health, um, it's really difficult to actually win. <laughs> Well, it's not really difficult, but it's it's far more challenging. Sorry, just give me a second. There we go. Okay, cool. just checking my... Yeah, he can also parry your attacks. I am having a lot of difficulty today. Stop that. Oh my goodness. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, uh. Heal, heal, heal. What a jerk. Every time. Okay. Yeah, if you get him to second phase, he's a lot harder to win against, but I mean, it looks like it's probably going to happen here. I tried to haze. And yes, one of his swords do fire damage and one of these swords do lightning damage. Gosh. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, that's what I was going for. Stab. Now if I can get behind him, I might be able to finish him before he... No! Please die. <laughs> Thank you. Oh god. Um, uh, I really don't want to lose. Um, so I'm just going to try... Uh, Keke, Healy, Healy, <laughs> please die, dude, die, thank you, for God's sakes, <laughs> he's on such little health. We're back here. Iyasu. 
He looks so much like Pat Morita's Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> if I haven't said that before, he looks so much like him, it's incredible. It's almost like they designed him, or like they designed Mr. Miyagi, well, yeah, maybe Yasu looked like that in real life. <sighs> it's Sasuke. ただ雪風呂。日の元一の木の腹に出ちち。大谷義継が倒れた時。わしも義に生き。義に準ずるが定めと悟ったのだ。かつて茶々様の望まれた。戦なき世の夢。そう。人の道を外れて霊石を Let's go. Maria will be there too. Okay, so a couple things. Um, well, there we go. Possessed by Jano Meko um, by Spirit Division. Um, Hideyori is actually, or was actually, um, a homunculus. Um, yeah, there, there's his swords Ichigo, Hidefuri, and Namazu Otoshiro. And if you go there, you can actually see that it has dual elements, fire and lightning, which is really cool. When dual wielding, a different element is added to attacks performed with the left and right weapons. So there's some really sick like weapons and stuff that you can find in, in the game now. Um, yeah, he was a homunculus. I looked up the definition of homunculus. It says a very small human or humanoid creature. But it also says, um, a homunculus is a representation of a small human being. Popularized in 16th century alchemy and 19th century fiction, it was historically referred to the creation... It has historically referred to the creation of a miniature, fully formed human. So yeah, he was, uh, like, Hideyori doesn't exist. Um, it was, uh, Yorogimi, I think, that m made, made him. Uh, so Yorogimi's gaze. Yorigami was born into war and was forced to traverse its chaotic path all her life. She despised such chaos, chaos and wis wished for nothing more than peace. However, rumors spread that she was under the spell of a foreign woman. The strange incidents emerging from Osaka were undoubtedly brought to be by a strange power, but nobody knew just how involved Yorigami was. The son of Hideyoshi and Yorogimi, Lord Toyotomi Hideyori, was famous for his good looks. Despite his youth, he carried himself in a dignified manner, befitting a man destined to rule the land. Blessed with, uh, blessed with both fighting prowess and phenomenal strength, he set out for glo glory on his first military campaign, 
Would he be able to boast of his victory, or would he return humbled by defeat? There's a few more things. Yukimura's strong will is the key to expelling evil. So we need him to stay alive. Okay, if you search here, you get the very first Mysticite Shard and some famed Samurai Locks, which is nice too. Uh, the Mysticite Shard provides you with... Uh, let's have a look. 5 million Amrita, <laughs> which is actually quite a lot. But yeah, um, if we climb down here, we can gain access to the shrine again. I want to try and... Uh, I'm not going to be able to finish this this episode. I mean, I'm not going to be able to finish it in this episode, I don't think. Because the last fight is quite long. And there's a sort of gauntlet coming up as well. Also, go around here in order to collect the last Kadama that I spent so long searching for. I might cut that bit out, actually, in the previous episode because it's stupid to have it there. The ultimate guide. Uh, yes, we have every single good armor in the, in the game. Hooray. And the last thing before we go in here is that um, if you didn't notice, uh, actually, you know what, let's use the shrine. If you didn't notice, uh, when um, Hanzo was fighting um, Sar who we find out to be Saratobi Sasuke, when he gets shot, like when uh, Saratobi Sasuke gets shot and he falls down, give me a second, I'm going to put a point in probably skill or strength. Let's do uh, axes and Odachi. Yeah, let's do strength because like that's quite low at the moment. Uh, when he falls down, um, he's still got Sonata Yukimura's beard, <laughs> so you can tell it's it still looks like Sonata Yukimura even though it's not, or even though it turns out to not be. Okay, I think we're done with Tonfa except for this skill, which dodges attacks that come at you while you recover from an evasive move. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to bother with that one. There's no reason to have that. Okay, and you know what, just because it's good to have it all together, if this gives 7, which it does, yep, okay, let's use my famed Samurai Locks, and we use those 7 points to gain increase of the key damage, no, I want this one, reduces key consumption when performing Waking Winds or Sunset Breeze, there we go, Odachi Master. Just to get that done, that was a, a trophy that we could have got from um, the first DLC, which is Dragon of the North, but we got it there. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a gauntlet coming up. Uh, this is pretty tough. There's a good chance that I could die. So let's hope that I don't. Pow. 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 We've got, um, what's his name to help us, so... That's good. Beautiful. I have no idea what happened. Please. Hey, oh yeah, like I was saying with the Tonfa in the previous episode, it's made to smash, so... Holy... So that's why I think it deals more damage to his crystals. Ah. I think I had the... Oh my goodness. Goodbye. Okay, good. Yeah, these guys are really strong. Uh, the Sinister Arts, I think... I should actually look it up so I'm actually saying the correct thing. It's something to do with those Spirit Stones that we've been using... Or that we've been, like, exploding. I think you have to explode all of them. I think that's the, the idea. I refuse to rest until I reclaim the Tosa Seas. Something dropped there that I was interested in and now I forgot what it was. That was Governor of Tosa stuff. Yeah, this this goes on for quite a while, <laughs> by the way. Holy, okay. Oh! Oh, wow, man. He did a lot of damage. Look at that fox. <laughs> He did a tremendous amount of damage. Holy crap! 2,400 in one shot. Uh, okay, I think, I think it's here. Oh well, we can still get through it, it's just that... Damn, man, that was... That was really something. 
All right, let's see. So yeah, let's just jump in. All right, this should be a little bit easier. Don't know what that sound was. One, two, there we go. Come on. Ah, oh. Yukimura. Oh, smithing text. <laughs> and more Saratobi's gun sticks. Nice. Governor of Toaster's armor. Could be useful. I can't believe I died on this. Okay, you know what? That guy was very strong, so I'm just gonna pay attention. I'm gonna keep him on screen. <laughs> so if he tries to shoot at me. And you know what? Let's heal up as well. Unfortunately, these like obvious remnants, um, they don't uh, give you honor, a uh, glory, glory. Ah. Nicely done, good shot, bro. <laughs> I reckon they called Yukimura bro back in the day. <laughs> hey, bro. Both my spirit and belief in you shall carry on. Ad infinitum. Ah, stupid planes. Even in a pandemic, we can't stop planes. Is this really what you wanted, Lady Cha Cha? To bring such a hell to this world? Probably such hell to this world, I think it would have sounded better. Oh god, what's behind me? Oh, it's that guy. That's not good. Stop firing at me. Well done. No! <laughs> I got you, I got you. I got you, bro. Okay. Oh. Damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, come on. <gasps> oh, no. I think he's gone. Damn. <laughs> please. Can you please aim at his horn, for goodness sake? I do not know how to dodge that. <laughs> Did you really think I'd. <gasps> 10 health. <laughs> Rip. Rip a Rooney. Please. How is he avoiding it every time now? That's it. I'm healing. Meh. Can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Nice heal. Yeah, this section sucks, man. I cannot. Okay, finally. Jesus, I just couldn't get him in the head. I don't know why. Thank you for taking care of this, dude. I'll help you out. Pa, pa, pa. You're mine. Prayer beads. Yukimura, let us raise Iyasu's head together in victory. Who's speaking? I thought that together we could claim Iyasu's head. I actually don't know who's speaking there. It's not over yet. Oh my god, alright. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice. Please, thank you. Where are you? Ooh, nasty. Burn, baby, burn, burn. It's going to burn. No, I mean, nah. I hate when they do that. That is not what I meant to do. Oh, I got all my elixirs back. <laughs> I was using them like crazy, I think. Alright, you know what? This is actually, I think because of that death, this should be perfectly timed to finish next episode. Seems that ultimately my spear will never know the taste of Yasu's blood. Wait for me in the underworld. I shall follow you there shortly. Did I make it? Is that it? Are we done? Yes, I did. Hooray! We did it! Alright, cool. So I'm pretty sure this is the end now. I will just double check. Don't think there are any more enemies. Nope, it is the end. Ah, there's a church chest, I guess we'll get. 
Summon this candle, Sacred Ash, Shingeku Medicine. Alright. Well, I'm going to have to stop here today, guys. That's unfortunate because the end is upon us. Uh, but we will finally finish every single main mission in the game tomorrow. And you definitely want to come back tomorrow because, well, hopefully the thumbnail will help you. Because it's pretty cool. If you, Like I said, if you don't know what's coming, it's pretty awesome. I'll just quickly put all these together. All right, cool. And I think there's yeah, a couple more. One, two, and one. All right, then I guess I'll leave it there. So for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 146 of Let's Platinum and 100% Neo. My name is Ultima456. You're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.